Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. I'm feeling a little bit weak because I've just done a massive hike uh, all the way up here towards Meltham Moor. And Meltham Moor is a light. Very dramatic scenes. I've seen it from a house which is miles away uh, up on the horizon and I've brought you out today with me just to see the, uh, the dramatic scenes up here. I'm going to get as close as I dare. Um, there's a big fire crew over the other side of the, the moor. There's uh, must be six, seven uh, fire engines out there. And uh, I'm not sure how, how they go about this, uh, controlling these fires, whether they just let it burn, keep an eye on it, let it burn out. It seems that they let it burn out. Maybe there'll be some of the fire crew up there when I get up there. And if there is, maybe we'll have a chat and see how they deal with a situation like this. It's a very hot day. We've had three hot days. Unusual, we've had a pretty poor summer, but the last uh, three days have been hot and that moor was instantly alight. I don't know whether it's uh, people having a bit of a barbecue. I don't think so. I've got a feeling it's just natural, but it is a blaze. Well, I'll tell you what, it's quite a scene. Let me just show you. It's kind of otherworldly. It's actually a blaze over there. And there's a fair breeze whipping up the uh, smoldering ash and it just busts into flames. Wow. I'm glad I brought you up here. Let's just have a look around. I've just seen the fire crew that was dealing with this and they've just left, <laughs> left me here, abandoned me. <laughs> I took a few pictures of them, a little bit of footage, I'll show you that. But look at this scene, it's so dramatic. I'm right at the edge of it. If I walked into this part, you would need the, uh, the mask. I can walk down this way you can see this side, it gets clearer. I can take some gulps of uh, fresh air. I wouldn't want to be caught in there. Blimey, look at it. And that way, it's as far as I can see. It's dramatic and sad at the same time, of course. I've been nesting birds in there. Wow.
Okay, so that's about it. It's getting a little bit dangerous up here to be wandering around on my own. Um, yeah, the fire crews are over the other side now and uh, they're doing a great job. It seems like an impossible task uh, just to manage all this. But uh, yeah, they seem to have it contained. You could see it was blazing over there. I can just walk over there and, and it's, it's absolutely uh, a light and very hot when I was close up. Um, yeah, moving very fast as well. Very fast, I had to sort of back off. You wouldn't want to get surrounded by it. So I'm going to make my way back down and uh, just thought I would uh, bring you up here. I hope you've enjoyed the dramatic scenes. And uh, that's about it for this one, just a quick vlog up here on uh, Meltham Moor and it's a light. Might bring you back up uh, another time. Hopefully uh, it'll die down, we'll get, probably get a bit of rain. We're in West Yorkshire, it's gonna rain soon. We've had three days of hot weather, like I say, and this is what happens, <laughs> we can't take it. Um, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's it. Make my way down. Look at it over there, it's absolutely a blaze. I can hear it crackling. Okay, don't know where I'll be next time, but you know I want you with me. So until the next one, bye.